Today's topic on Soccer 101 is yellow and red cards. These things might seem simple, but they're actually quite complicated. Let's go see what you guys know about them. Can you tell me what it means when a player gets a yellow card? When they have like an infringement and just get in trouble, and then it's like a, it's kind of like a warning if they get two, then they're out, get a red. Can you tell me what happens when a player gets a red card? Yes, they get ejected from the current game, suspended from the next, and five fined five hundred dollars. How many yellow cards can you get in a game before you are ejected? Two. So within the space of one game, uh, if you get two yellow cards, then that's the same as a red card. So that means you get kicked out of the game and you are suspended for the next game. How many yellow cards can you get in a season before you receive a suspension and a fine? Five. Now, the other part of the yellow card system is that if you get five yellow cards for a season, that means you get suspended for a game as well. In the MLS, there's something called good behavior incentive. Okay. Can you explain to me what that means? I think it means if a player has accumulated a certain number of yellow cards and then they go three games without getting a yellow card, that the penalty is decreased. The good behavior incentive is if you can go, once you have four yellow cards, that if you can go three games after that without getting a yellow card, then that's the good, then you achieve the good behavior incentive and you go back to three yellow cards and then you start your running your total again from there. Can you tell me how many red cards has Real been issued this season? Oh, I'm going to say nine. Five. Four? Let's go with three. What player on Real Salt Lake has the most yellow cards? Um, this season. I'm guessing Nat Borchers. <laughs> Kyle Beckerman. Yeah, Beckerman. Kyle Beckerman. We got the dreads. Beckerman. Kyle. 